Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Congratulations, you're a twit number four. This is actually the third video in a row that is adhering to the schedule I have now on my YouTube channel, whereby I upload one video every Friday at 6 p.m. GMT time. So, yay, me! Also, my self esteem's high at the moment, so I clean my face up, which is nice. I either look sexy or like Humpty Dumpty's stunt double. Either one. Quite frankly, I'm okay with either. Either way, let us delve into the land of stupid people and see what we may find. Let's get going. There's a fact that I find particularly uh, fascinating about World of Tanks, and that is, you can play like Erwin Rommel on steroids, and you'd still get nothing out of a game by chance. Because unfortunately for you, you and your contributions to the game will always be at the mercy of 15 or only 29 other people in the game. And there's no class of vehicle in which that disparity is more prominent than a light tank. Like, to get a great light tank game, you need, you need half a dozen things to go on. Right? You need your team to be competent. You need the enemy team to be bad. You need to not get yellowed by a bad player on the enemy team. You need to not overcommit. You need to find a good bush. Not every game you play will afford you those opportunities. However, this game right here is what you get when your team is good and the enemy team is about as smart as a sack of claustrophobic squirrels. I tell you, the level of sheer stupidity that allows LEGO Tank 007 to have the game that he does have here is nothing short of astounding. These people have su such little aptitude for logic, they've been rejected from a job in medieval gynecology. Their kinship with failure has allowed a gun-toting saucepan to get over 5,000 spotting damage in the space of less than a minute of gameplay. The camp circle is so full of enemy heavy tanks you could play noughts and crosses with the fecking gun markers. This is ridiculous. Let's, let's, let's skip to a while later, okay, may, maybe it, it's a tad more logical at that point. A few moments later. Tw 12,000. 12,000. The enemy team must be spotted so much they'll end up taking Asian leopards off of the endangered species list. The most spotting I ever got in a game was like 11k, right? Now, I have been beaten by a kitchen implement. And I resent this. It's not like this was exceptional gameplay. I've done this exact same move. But never in my life have I been blessed with such dumbasses on the receiving end of it. I, I, I've made mistakes in in, in my life. I, I I freely admit that. So I tried I, I tried to use this one time to put up my green screen. I right? spray adhesive. Didn't go as planned. Stop the tug! Stop the tug! Ah! Sand river. Are you scared yet? No. Okay, let me try and you tact. Sand with a assault. Calm down. Calm down. Cut, cut, cut. Just, just calm. Yes. Here we are on the map that so elegantly divides two teams. The defensive team feels like they're booked into a five-star hotel. Their enemy win catered to, whereas the offensive team feel, well, if they have any knowledge of tactical precedents whatsoever, will feel as if they're trying to break into Fort Knox with a woodpecker. Main reason for that, of course, is that Wargaming thought it would be a great idea to open up the middle of the map, 
So there's now a position where you can cover every inch of this map by moving about 200 meters, uh, which is just great for balancing. Every inch of this map punishes you for attacking. And should the stars align and you make a break, any intelligent guy in the middle can just switch and break over the middle and defend the feckin' base from your side. So, yeah. Now, oh. <laughs> cursed with knowledge, as I am in this game, most likely while I was playing it, I wasn't too far from the land of resignation, where I would have most likely sacrificed uh, engaging and, and skillful gameplay for the the loving arms of comedic validity. That is until I see this. Hallelujah! All of our team, all of them, one hundred, one hundred percent of our team are on this flank. I am dying now. When you have an absolute solid overmatch on a flank like this, time and speed are the most important factors. Incredibly important because sooner, sooner or later. The enemy team will realise that they have little to no opposition on the other side, and they will start moving round. The key advantage is, at that point, they're out of the game. They are not influencing any anything while they're moving around. So, I, ideally, you want to mirror their, their advance with your attack, right? You want to you wanna just swing the game around and take the flank while they are over committing out the other side. The important thing being, being out of the corner when you were, out of the flank where you were before you're closed in from two sides and bled out. So, button down the hatches enemy team. Put away your newspapers because winter is coming. And we charge forward, we're going to seize this opportunity, we're yelling to attack, telling everyone we can to move, go forward, to capitalise. Now, unfortunately, the vast majority of our team moves like saliva out of a dead dog. And whilst the tier 5s are up front waiting for support, the tier 7s are the reason it says contains nuts on bags of peanuts. I mean, seriously, we would have done better in this game if the rest of our team consisted of a pride of asthmatic lions. And of course, none of the feelings of horror and, and dawning resignation do, are in any way alleviated when the teeth of the full one does join us. Because he performed some gameplay that would make a goat vomit. And I wasn't exactly aware that it was possible to be this much of a bitch. He is asking for help. Ring ring. Hi. Yeah, it's you from the future. You're dead. Are you really surprised? I don't know how best to describe it. This guy plays like he's got something stuck up his ass. He's stationary for so long, I'm surprised people don't try to take notes with him. And he's only played 3k games, bless him, but that... Some people might say you shouldn't insult him, he's just a beginner. I'm not insulting him. Okay, I'm describing him. This guy could be six years old, for all I know. This guy could be a gal. Could be Skynet, for all oh I know. Oh no, we are discovered. Commence the attack. Die puny human. Fire. Fire. Oh, Fire. God! Fire. I knew it! Fire. I knew the box Fire. would take over! Fire. Pay the money! Get General Fire. Tog! I'm Fire. asking all the tanks on order! Fire. I'm, I'm Fire. coming out the end! Fire. Oh, Fire. Fire. Doesn't matter who he is. The fact is, our last remaining shining glimmer, the tiny beacon of hope for this game, was stopped in his tracks by a discount tog. What's important here is that I think I know what was going on inside that guy's tank. <laughs> Alright, T1 heavy up here, so let's load up my piece. Hold up, she'll need to wash first, because this thing is messy as hell. I'll put it on the spin side. What? No. It's my birthday today. Let me make a wish. Okay, you're done. It was very important for us to find the best. Fuck is he doing here? It came true.
I have no time with that guy. Driver, can we move? I am not your driver. I am a mutated evil chicken in a human suit. Baga, baga, baga. Okay, I don't care what you are. Or let's Done. just get. Be nice and clean. Now. I mean, uh, <laughs> at least it's still not. <laughs> That's funny. Never knew we had one. Ha <laughs> ha! Listen, Gunner, J Jack! Listen, I'm on that corner, mate. There's a T1 Heavy. Okay, look, and, and an IKV. So. I'm gonna need you to give your best. Look, shut up. You are gonna need to perform above and beyond. I need you to be on the ball, on the game. But what? But. But. Little bloody one. I don't know what it is today about Sand River Salt. I looked in my uh, uh, folder and I, I've got like 20, 20 or 4, 20 plays on Sand River Salt. Um, not really sure why. Although my thing is that. Because on this map, when you're attacking, you're against such monumental odds. When you come close to winning, that alone requires a lot of refined collective idiocy on the behalf of the defending team. And 10-7 at the moment, so we're looking good, huh? Well, we were. 10-9. Eh, yeah, close enough. Now, I have a very good position right now, in a tank with 45% camo rating. I am trying to get around behind to shoot at these scorpions, but credit to our team, I managed to take them both out. So, with the scores at 12-9, right now, I want to cap. I, and you'll forgive me, but there's not enough time, and, and I'm in the tank with the firepower of a slow gripe. I, the straws I clutch at to win this game are bigger than me. But it's risky capping, especially on the health that I am on, with an RT in play. So, I'm gonna try and find him, and we've got people near the camp, so it shouldn't really be a problem. And there he is! We do try to get him killed by an RT, that's why I'm not playing aggressively here, but that doesn't work out so well, and in the end, we have to chase him down. And by the time we do, by the time we eventually get him, there's 1 minute and 38 seconds left on the clock. And as it takes 1 minute and 40 seconds to cap on Assault, yeah, we got issues. But wait! Our saviour today comes from a very unsuspecting, uh, unsuspected source indeed. The arty! The Bat Jump 15558, a very fast pig, is actually moving. He is coming towards the cap, which is pretty freaking amazing. I mean, let's face it, RT gameplay needs like M. Night Shyamalan's filmography. Right? Shit, shit, shit. Oh, six cents. <laughs> so to have actually see an RT have some awareness of what he needs to do is. I had faith in the wrong machine Despite what I might feel The hope I had is lost You're just another pig Oink! Okay, I guess I should expect that at this point, but me. I bet most RT 
They'll start to get like snails. Right, that's slow, disgusting, and crap at what the tanks, but that guy was moving. He was showing all the signs of someone poking their head above the general skill level of what the tanks RT players and looking about to new heights. You know, that's not like that bar is set high. Right? Generally, our, our, RT gameplay is the equivalent of sucker punching a guy, then running away before he gives you a wedgie. Right? I, I, am I long to hope, to dream that our team might get better, do something? Yes, I am. 